Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is intimacy tips to keep your relationship strong. I really love this topic because there's so many couples who don't understand the importance of staying connected in an intimate way with their partner. Now this doesn't necessarily mean sex because being intimate with your partner, you're emotionally connected to them. When you have sex with somebody, you can have it with an unemotional connection. A lot of people do. But intimacy will keep your relationship strong for many years to come because it keeps you close. There's a vulnerability about giving yourself to somebody under this sort of condition. You are opening up, you're talking to them about things that you wouldn't necessarily talk to somebody else about. You're sharing deep, deep things about yourself with them. So you're intimate with them, which also includes a lot of different things. But when you're connected in that way with somebody, you are very, very connected. Intimacy doesn't always mean sexual intercourse. It can definitely help you get there, but not everybody can be sexually active in that way due to medical reasons or other personal situations. So having that connection outside of just a sexual, uh, sexual activity can keep you close for many years because not everybody has sex every single day anyway. But if you're intimate with each other, you stay closer because you have that deeper bond. You have, as I said a minute ago, you have more vulnerability with each other and the trust. Those are big things to, to keep a relationship flowing and keep it on a really, really nice place. Because if we don't pay attention to those sort of things within our relationship, it does tend to fizzle. So there are five that I think that are quite important that I will discuss right now to keep the intimacy alive in your life. And the first one, which may seem obvious, is romance. But romance doesn't have to be the elaborate thing that a lot of people think it has to be. It can be something as simple as planning something that you know your partner would like, that's a romantic setting or somewhere you've been together as a couple when you first started going out and it means a lot to you. It's sort of a, a, a real special place. That's a romantic gesture. Even just picking up something that they saw at a store that they commented on that they liked and you bring it home for them. Little things like this, but on a daily basis, you do something little every day. It's not a lot of work. I know you're sitting here saying, yeah, well, that, that takes a lot of planning. That's, how, you know, after a while you've been with somebody for a long time, how can you keep that up? It's pretty simple to keep it up because you listen to your partner, hear what they have to say and what's important to them. And then you can sort of, if you have to write it down to remind yourself at a later date, do so. But put something out there regularly that makes your partner happy and that you're thinking about them in a romantic, sort of little bit of a playful way. Number two, face-to-face -face conversations. This is way more intimate than you think it is because a lot of times when we're at home, we've got our family around and we're not even looking at each other half the time. We're sort of saying, yeah, go get this, go do that. Everybody's sort of just busy and they're not putting energy into sitting down, looking each other in the eye in the eyes because that is quite intimate when you are face to face looking at somebody maybe holding their hand if you're out for a cup of coffee or out for a walk stop talk and just look each other in the eye get their full attention and just be gentle with each other be open it doesn't have to be all about the things that mundane things that you have to do every day or about your work schedule. Talk about things that are important to you. Maybe there's something that's been bothering you about yourself or something that you would really just like an opinion about, but it's something that you trust your partner with. Number three, bring out your sexy. I don't care how long you've been together and whether you feel like you've gained 30 pounds and you don't feel as attractive. Everybody can be sexy and just a little bit of effort every day. It might just be something simple as a new top or something that's, you know, maybe a nice pair of jeans that your partner likes. Do something that 
keeps them looking at you and makes you feel attractive as well. Because the more attractive you feel to yourself and to your partner, the more confidence you have. And when you have confidence, that's another sexy thing. Especially when you take it further in the intimacy and maybe into the bedroom. These are things that I really, really stress upon because it, people don't understand that some of the simplest things that we do every day, we just need to put a teeny bit of energy more into them and actually care about what our partner thinks or how they feel. And that really helps with the, the intimate connection between you as a couple. When you look good, you feel good. And they like it, you like it, it's a win-win. Like seriously, it only takes five or 10 minutes a day to sort of spruce yourself up a little bit, you know, and complimenting each other because you notice they've done this also really helps because you're saying to them that, I noticed that means a lot to me that you made that effort and you look great you look amazing and just do that to each other sometimes we become very critical when we've been together for a while because it's always about what hasn't been done or what needs to be done rather than appreciating our surroundings right in front of us which is our partner I think this is really something that a lot of couples are not doing and it's such a simple procedure number four kiss passionately as often as you can I mean, a peck on the cheek is a nice say hello good morning goodbye that kind of thing but if you can take the time to kiss each other with feeling with feeling behind it not just the basic expected you know kiss hello like i just said you want to put a little bit of energy behind it like okay you still mean this to me and let's face it back in the day when we first started meeting our partner what did we do we spent a lot of time kissing we spent a lot of time with foreplay situations and we let go of that when we know somebody because we kind of take the situation for granted. Oh, we don't have to do all that. Well, why wouldn't you want to do all that? That's the best part of it all is getting there. As I said, not everybody has sex all the time, but if they're intimate, there's lots of other things you can do. So kissing passionately is a big one and touching. So say you're in the living room, you're watching TV together because you're home. We're all home more right now. Sit beside each other, hold hands, cuddle. If you're sitting across the room in your favorite, you know, recliners, you're not getting connected. You're not staying connected. You're actually kind of pulling yourself apart more because now what you're focusing on is the television, not each other. But if you do both, again, it's a, it's a great situation and it keeps you just touching each other and, and being sort of at one with each other. The more you touch each other, the more you stay in a unified partnership. Touch is super important. I mean, look at your animals when you give them a little pat or a, you know, a little cuddle on the couch. Doesn't it just change their whole demeanor? It's the same with humans and we forget that we don't do that we give things to other other priorities and we let our partner who should be our number one priority take kind of a back seat so this, this is why I really draw want to draw attention to the intimate part of a relationship because it's not just about going in for instant gratification into the bedroom and having a, you know a 15 minute sex romp not to say that's a bad thing but you still want to have all the other stuff that gets you into that bedroom too. And that's why I really feel that this topic is so important. Another thing, don't, don't repeat past arguments you've had. This is something that I find with a lot of couples. I mean, I've done it too. I'm, it's so easy to still be mad about something that happened that you don't feel was totally resolved. But the more you bring it up, the more you talk about it, it just adds more tension to the relationship. So discuss something, let it go. Maybe if you want to bring it up one more time, do it when you're not in the throes of an argument and just talk about it gently with each other and see if you can rectify and get away from that because the more we have these defeating conversations with each other, the more we pull away from being intimate with each other. And number five, send sexy texts or leave messages and post-it notes or whatever around the house just put a little bit of energy into being creative with letting your partner know you're thinking about them even when you're not there so before you go to work leave a note somewhere or 
if you're at work, send a little sexy text or a, a, a voice note to them. Just something that lets them know that they're on your mind and vice versa. Of course, you want it reciprocated. And just little things like that are so, so easy and so important because when they come home, you're instantly connected again because you're appreciative that they took the time to let you know they were thinking about you. And as I say, if you both do this on a regular basis and try to keep the romance alive, we all have stuff right now. And it's even more important to make the effort to maintain and nurture the relationship that you're in now. Because the grass really isn't that much greener on the other side. And if you do have a, a pretty strong relationship, doing these five things will keep it even stronger because what it will do is reaffirm that you're in the right place with the right person and you can't wait to get home and see them. These little things will help you get there. But don't start taking your partner for granted and making out like it's not a big deal anymore because you have to nurture everything in your life, your children, your job, everything. Don't let your partner be the last person to have that from you. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please send any topic, uh, show ideas you have to me here. You can leave a comment below the video. It would be great. Click like. And if you haven't subscribed, I really, really appreciate it if you did so. Thank you so much. See you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.